Sela Velen Manale of the Namibia Karate Federation and National Coach Os Sensei. Us. Who is responsible for managing karate in the land of the brave? So we have uh, our management committee, which runs obviously the day-to-day -day runnings of karate. Yes. It consists of our PRO, me, myself as the coach, yes. um, our president, our technical director. Um, yeah, that is, that is basically what makes up, and our chief referee. Uh -huh. That makes up our management committee. So we are responsible for the day-to-day -day runnings um, of the federation. Yes. Then we have EXCO that consists of each style slash club, yes. which has a member representative, which they then make the final decisions. So we come up with ideas, with proposals, with strategic planning, and we'll submit it to EXCO. Mm -hmm. And then EXCO takes the decision on where, what is the way forward okay. and how it needs to get done. Well oiled. Yes, it is. Yes. Uh, when was the scout established uh, in Namibia? Give us a bit of history, please. So, many clubs that's currently in Namibia has been there since pre-independence. Okay. So, we have the likes of Tension Kan, Koju Ryu, Koju Kai, uh, Karate Zen. These are all the clubs that comes from Shotokan, which yes. comes from our older um, generation, all yes. the folks, old Southwest Africa. Yes. And they have established the new code in the beginning of when Namibia was in, was became Land of the Brave. Okay. So from 1990, um, it was inaugurated, they established it, I think by 91 things were up and running. Uh -huh. And then, yes, and from there it was all the way go. Wow. So what is happening in Namibia in terms of karate at the national level? So currently we're having our national championships next week mm -hmm. um, from children up until seniors and we've now have the last two years veterans as well yes so you are welcome to come and join again Otis where will it be yeah in Swakopmund at the dome wow um, mm. next week Saturday um, then how many athletes are you expecting that we'll know after this weekend because okay. entries close this week well wow. then we'll know exactly how much is still active after the COVID period uh -huh. Um, so many clubs have suffered in terms of COVID. Yes, yes. Um, so they did have some dips in numbers. And um, so we'll see who's still there and who's going strong by, mm -hmm. by next week. Wow. We're in the process of, of uh, we've just come from an Olympic qualifier. Yes. Um, we didn't go as, as planned. So I would say it could have been more smoother. We could have had better results. Um, but there wasn't any tournaments for preparations. Okay. So in terms of, of going out and preparing that we did, nine months of preparations, we traveled to South Africa in COVID periods yes. um, to go and prepare the athletes, go to training camps, fly people in, spend two, three days with, with, with expert advice yes. to get the athletes prepared. Mm -hmm. And yes, we prepared as much as we could. So therefore, I'm, I'm actually thankful for this to say thank you to Olympic Solidarity mm -hmm. for coming on board and helping us in this process. Mm -hmm. um, it was it was well worth it. The athletes benefited all the way. Yes, these are the same athletes that is currently in my squad, trying to qualify for the last um, hurdle. So we'll see what the results is next week to select the final team. Yes, to go to African Championships, which is in December this year. Okay. So we're coming okay. off the Olympic qualifier, going to African champs. Yes. Um, then our focus at Karate now, where we're moving to is to get more opportunity for our youth, mm -hmm. our cadets, um, ages ranging from 14 to 17 years old. There is a Youth Olympics yes. in 2026 in Dakar, Senegal. So it's on African soil. We'd like the opportunity. We want to make the best of it. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that karate cream of the crop has always been the youngsters. Yes. And to provide them with more opportunities. Mm. Um, especially our league. Uh, we want that to come on board as well. Uh, we are in the process of seeking sponsorship and there are negotiations that I know yes. with current sponsors to get the league up and running by next year. 
to provide opportunity locally based for the athletes to prepare them for international competitions. Okay, and then in terms of uh, development of the sport, how how's things going? So what, what we are currently doing is, um, besides the national competition, we want to get, like we said, regional based competitions okay. in the form of the league. Yes. Um, the younger ones has more opportunity to participate closer to home. And then once they make the squads, then they can participate at the different championship again. Mm. So we want to run minimum at least four competitions. That's the idea. Yes. Besides nationals. Um, it's been difficult for the associations, clubs, mm -hmm. to run tournaments again because of the COVID restrictions. You can't plan much. Yes. Um, we are lucky that we planned nationals this time of the year and now we are open. Mm -hmm. So it was actually something that was set. But Otherwise, it would have to be moved. Wow. So, wow. yes. So, uh, kindly share some success stories about the sports coach. Uh, on local level and international level with us, please. So what we have is our local athletes keep on participating. Then they have limited time to go to international events. Yes. Um, so locally, our athletes has limited competitors. Yes. So for them to say it's they are performing locally would be, yeah, we would be trying to tell the public blatantly it, 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 it's not it's not the truth. Mm. Um, yes, you can you can uh, get into a team locally. Yes, but you need to go outside to perform. Mm -hmm. So our competition lies in the region. Um, region five. We've been for the last two years, three years. Besides COVID, before that, yes. we've been ranked number two mm -hmm. on the region five medal table. Um, mm -hmm. So we've overtaken Botswana, but we are failing to go ahead and become number one. Who do you need to demolish? We need to demolish South Africa. Mm. And yes, um, it can happen. It's not, it's not out of our reach. Yes. Um, we have, we haven't failed in the, in the amount of medals we produced. Yes. But we have failed in the amount of gold medals we could produce. Uh -huh. So we had for two years running, we had the most medals. Yes. But we lacked six gold medals, which we to make us number one. And that's achievable, as and, you said. And that's achievable, yes. Wow, wow. So finally, how do uh, Style become affiliated to the national body? Uh, tell us about the processes. Okay, just to go back on the previous question, sorry, Otis. Yes. There was one lady of ours which is in the national setup. Mm -hmm. Her name is Ronia Porteus. She's moved to Germany yes. this year. Um, she's began schooling there and she went to go participate in the in the Bremen Championships in Germany. Um, and there we could see what what fruit Namibia Karate is actually pulling. Mm. She managed to secure two gold medals. Mm. Um, so yes, locally it seems like we are not doing enough yes. until we get to go outside. Uh -huh. So yes, there is some light at the end of the tunnel on what we yes. are busy with. Yes. Um, so to come back to your current question, mm. um, can you just please? How do clubs, uh, how do styles yes. become affiliated to the national body? Okay, so what happens is there's a whole process. Yes. You need to fill in, I know, a whole lot of paperwork. Who are you? What's your organization? Um, who are you affiliated to either locally, Africa level? Yes. And also to mainland or not, I won't call it mainland, but to Japan. Yes. You use your international affiliation. Mm. So you can't just start up a club and decide that you are going to join NKF. Yes. The Namibia Karate Federation believes that you need to be affiliated to the to Japanese structures. Yes. Where karate roots from. Mm. And then you can then you are allowed to affiliate. You also can't be joining two bodies simultaneously. So you've got to be running through the World Karate Federation yes. and follow that strict rules and, and structures that are there. Uh -huh. You can't, um, there is a other separate body which is called uh, WUKO. Yes. Um, but Namibia Karate Federation is, is subject to WKF, uh, World Karate Federation rules and mm -hmm. regulations. Mm -hmm. So if, if a person needs to uh, establish himself, it needs to be affiliated to an African body and that body needs to be affiliated to a Japanese structure. Wow. In my time, and I'm talking about way back, karate was associated with Bruce Lee. 
Yes. Yeah. So yes. things have changed, uh, yes. Sensei. Uh, finally, what would your message be to to upcoming youngsters who want to join the sport, and what does the sport bring for 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 the youth? There's a whole lot of opportunities which we didn't have. Uh, if I look back at five years ago, um, we could only speak of the elite and the guys that used to travel international was uh, was uh, old Shian Leonard Martin, um, mm. uh, Shian Freddy, Shian Senze Karl, Senze Valdemar, mm. um, Senze Vickers. Um, those were those were the, the the cream of the crop in the days when I was younger. Yes. Those were the people that we looked up to. So um, I'd like to say the youth must look up to certain certain individuals, and we must. We must attract more by going out and, and showing the people what karate is about. Mm. Not just claiming the fact that karate is good and karate can, can bring you so much more. Um, we need to make it visible. Uh -huh. um, there is opportunities. There's, there's cross-border opportunities mm. to go to South Africa. Um, I know that they, some of our karatikas can say that if it wasn't for karate, they, would, they don't know where they would be. Yes. Um, it brings a sense of stability. In, discipline. In, in discipline into certain things. Oh. Um, so, yeah, it's, it, it builds a character. Mm. Um, if, if I can take myself also, it, it, it did build character. Mm. And, and, yeah, I'd like the youth to follow that path mm. and not get distracted along the way. Difficulties will be there, mm -hmm. but that's the thing that can carry you through. Uh -huh. Sensei uh, Manala, it's been an honor and a pleasure to have you with us today. Thank you so much. Likewise. Thank you, Vitas. We can't wait to be together again. But until then, let's stay safe. You know, a few weeks ago, I would never do this on a Saturday morning. Back then, I was standing in line all day. Now it's just like that. Mm, you are using the FNB banking app like I told you. Girl, it saved my weekend. Now I can do all my banking on this. Payments, transfers, checking statements, even opening accounts. Just, just like, like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I tell you what my husband even did? Even me. Even me, I want to save time with the, what's the name of the app? FNB app. Don't be left behind. Make the switch to the FNB app, online banking or cell phone banking and change the way you bank to change your life. FNB, how can we help you?